Welcome back to Meshman Studio, this is Peter Obste and so I've seen a lot of people in Substance Painter using smart marks and I can really understand why because it gets you pretty far without even touching a single paint stroke. In Mori we can now do similar things using the extension pack or a upcoming uh, extension pack plugin so it's a bit that I'm gonna demo today. So without further ado let's jump over to Mori. Okay, so you're in uh, Mori now. We want to replicate something similar than the substance. So smart masks is depending on um, ambient occlusion, curvature and those type of bakes. So I have a uh, bait ambient occlusion and curvature and I also have actually a thickness. This is what we have to play with. So here, right now I just set up something similar that we had in um, Substance. So we have a, like a shader and a few materials defined here. And like for example, uh, gonna play with roughness here. Smart masks here is gonna end up coming here. So we have this section here. We have a smart mask. That's the UI. So now, then we have a setup tool and preferences for the tool. So I'm gonna, gonna touch now on mainly the smart masks here and a little about the setup. So for example, here, here's similar, um, we can set different uh, sizes here. So we, the, it comes pre-shipped here. I think Jens has actually tried to mimic as much as he could from Substance. And you can also make your own here, for example, uh, plus here can make a new tab here and say my own where you want to save it you can start to make your own presets there so i think this one unlocked you also have a mask builder so that that gives you a blank state so to speak and then you can create your mask and then save it into custom shelf here i'm thinking about this heavy scratches uh, apply it on on this section here and see how that goes so let's see here um if I select this, you can uh, either just drag it like this into, or you can actually push this button here and say import currently selected preset into the no graph. So let's do that. And what happens now the first time I do this is going to be it takes my geo nodes over here, ask me for uh, where is my ambient occlusion. So that's the AO channel curvature, curvature high pass. I don't have a height map. Um, thickness we could we can take now here uh, this one and the hit process so it's gonna uh, create a uh, backdrop hook up a radio nodes and connect it to this gizmo also it's gonna take the curvature and bake out um, different blur onto them so we have in the in the gizmo it has different blurs how much you want to add into We'll see that soon enough. So let's process this. And this is the most lengthy process the first time. But then current project. Um, once you have done this, you don't have to do this, uh, the curvature calculations and all that. Then it just auto hooks up. So yeah. Okay, so now we see here, we have uh, these uh, nodes here. They are radio nodes and this one as well. So. Um, we can see here we have the ambient occlusion and curve and it duplicates the curvature and then operates different. Uh, this is the original, then it's more blurred, even more blurred. So yeah, so this is a way to use different levels of this. So now we want to see here, this is the, the actual gizmo. So let's look at the gizmo. If I now hit one on this node, we're gonna get a, a mask stack here. So we can close now this the no graph context here and here we see so this is the mask we can apply but um, what I want to do is actually tweak it a bit so if I double click on it so it's similar to substance you have different settings here so the global here you can invert it so this is probably something I will do. I have to check out and uh, set the um, actual um, scale here. So let's do that. Um, I guess texture scale is gonna be something we need to tweak here. So let's try something like that. So it's it's pretty scuffed here. Noise, we can see what happens if I apply it. Let's see opacity. 
like this. And I guess um, curvature and occlusion is gonna be uh, heavily involved in this one as well. I wanna have it on there. And uh, curvature, let's do something here. So without it, yeah, then it goes like this. Um, and let's go down here and see if we can mess here with um, with this, the, the distribution here, let's see what happens. Uh, it's nothing, not so much there. I want to have something a little subtle like that, or subtle. And we can see what happens if I take the big one. You see that it starts to creep in further there. So yeah, something like this. Okay, so let's imagine now we wanna apply this. Um, first off, we can bake this. We can can do a bake point here, 8-bit data, that's fine. I want to set it to scalar, bake this into uh, texture so we don't have to evaluate this. I will most likely need to invert this, see what happens. So yeah, let's invert it so we can see here, uh, if I hit invert, nothing's gonna happen here on this one except this goes red because I have changed this. Let's rebake this. Okay, so now it's cached there. We can see here, got this one. So we wanna multiply that against the other. So if I hit the merge node here, add my result of this into there, and then go to darken, multiply, just add a clamp as well, and then we should be golden. So let's take a look here now with the shader on, see what happens should have uh, like uh, micro scratches and stuff onto the surface. Yeah, so we can now actually here, if I disable this one, it's gonna go take the, the baked here. So now we can start to tweak the mask here. So let's, let's do that and so we can see on the fly here what happens if I just give it a second because uh, it needs to re-evaluate the shader and we wanna try and fix uh, this a bit, see what happens. So we can see here, um, contrast, brightness. Okay, so uh, let's say we wanna look at this. So I have a slider here prepared. So this is more like, okay, I'm gonna add like a dust uh, dirt layer on top. So if I start to tweak this, I have uh, some kind of dirty color uh, material on top there. So we need another mask here. So let's take this, uh, the mask builder here and see what we have there. Like uh, something similar from Substance. So smart masks, this one, dust stained. Let's try this one. So now we already have this set up uh, uh, curvature and all that. So it should be faster because it doesn't have to calculate the curvature and uh, the filters. So let's see. Yeah, so let's try that. Might be a bit too heavy, so let's see here. Global adjustment. So I, I don't want something that brutal, see. And texture one here, maybe, let's see. Yeah, so this one gives that. We might wanna take it down considerably, seclusion. Let's see what we have there. Let's bring up the contrast. Like so. Curvature. I think I go with that. So it's not as obvious. And let's see, gra directional gradient. If it's something I wanna play with. Let's see if I go multiply instead. Uh, so darken. See what happens. I have to uh, dissect this more, but you can, if you wanna uh, look inside, it's actually this gizmo here, if you click on this one, this is what's happened underneath. So this is actually how everything's working. So here we have uh, inputs to curvature, we have radio nodes internally, and they go here. So it's more like a, it's like a comp here inside. So yeah, uh, let's, Let's let's say that this is the the mask I want to apply. So let's bake out um, this one, so we don't have to evaluate it as well. Same goes there. Scalar data. 
and bake it. Okay, so it's baked. So now I want to hook this up into the mask there so we can take a look at this one. It should probably set to black so we can just swap this essentially and see what happens. So let's look at the color here up first, the flat shaded. So let's see if I turn this. It was probably not as successful there. Yeah, so I knocked it down a bit too much. So let's remedy that. Let's see here, go back to the mask here and I knocked it down considerably there. So uh, let's say something like that so we can see the result and uh, rebake. Okay, and now let's go up here again and see constant. So now we can see here we have like dirt colors and stuff coming in here. So let's look through the shader here, see what happens. Let's take the light here, go down here and take yeah, so th that's um, some of the smart masks, so uh, definitely gonna be a nice addition to get some uh, mileage uh, pretty, pretty quick um, to this. And obviously you can just still then add on top of this. So let's say that you, uh, let's say that you want to have uh, something here added like paint, paint effects on top. Do this and then go into uh, let this to lighten screen and then start to paint here so if I take something here basic brush spec and paint with white and take a spec brush here yeah see now we have uh, combined uh, a uh, procedural mask and uh, painted dirt on top here so yeah that's uh, a way we can use um, these procedural masks so it's, it's pretty pretty quick and uh, you get a lot of mileage and uh, so now let's jump into how we can create our own gizmo and store it okay so let's look at a way to actually create our own uh, mask here and store it so right click smart masks and we should be greeted by this so i previously created my own uh, tab here so I actually stored my uh, my super grunge here so that's a, a mask I created myself and I utilized this one the mask builder so let's try that so we can drag it up here so now it's gonna connect to my uh, geo channels the occlusion and the curvature and the thickness and those type of channels and you can see it goes through here and it's ready nodes here that's gonna do the heavy lifting to connect this and once that's finished, we will be greeted by a uh, very bare minimum uh, just curvature actually. So we can close this. So curvature is one of those effects that's gonna drive um, the effect so, or occlusion. Curvature is enabled, so if I would disable it, it's gonna, the, the mask is going from this bottom to top so in that order. So first it applies uh, base color then it applies thickness, direction, gradient, and all of that. So let's say that you want to add a bit of thickness effect on this one. So this is, if you want to see what the thickness does there, for example, the amount. Let's say that you want to have a little contribution from the thickness, and then you want to have a curvature on top. I want to have a light and screen maybe, see what's going on there. And um, let's actually just streak this a bit so we want to have more contrast and see what's happening so let's say that this is what we want to apply so now we want to have a breakup uh, mask on top of this so let's see what we can do here so texture one and two here that's two textures we can play with so i have a uh, prepared here this is an i think it's a mega scan asset i just brought in so i have this texture set here with uh, different type of materials so i think i used one of these brought that in so let's see here let's activate texture one here set the um, scale on of it actually we can go to global adjustment and the texture scale and set this to something three let's say that this is the scale we want blend mode overlay let's set 
intensity let's go to contrast i'm just gonna play with this and see what happens so we wanna actually now go here to darken and multiply and see what happens so now it's just gonna be uh, you know break up on where the curvature resides so now let's go back to thickness and see what we can do there maybe add a bit more so now we have some general breakup and uh, additional breakup where it's like a curvature so yeah that's kind of the basics how you can build so you can obviously here go in and use more of these uh, effects here and play around let's go to uh, balance and pump it up generally to see what's going on there so yeah this is more like a general breakup type of uh, effect so yeah that's that's a way to do it and now let's say that you want to store this in to uh, your mask so let's go back to smart masks here smart mask take this one let's select this one here and uh, use i believe it's this one save the current no graph selection in as a preset so let's hit that one let's say uh, gen break up so we want to add the preset and um, you see it, this one the icon here you want to have an icon so uh, set preview from snapshot so we get this even for uh, let's take that one so you can place the object here within this window here and take a snapshot and it's gonna be saved here to gen break up preset and uh, we can just actually take my old one here and see what this this one did and uh, see how that one works so now it's setting up here and uh, then we should be good to go so yeah that's a way to use your own setups uh, or your own masks created from this system so yeah it's very exciting it's gonna be uh, really good to be able to uh, set up these type of things and reuse setups easily and and also when you have a, a team you can set up and reuse uh, the shelf everyone can access the same type of mask so let's see what this one did so that's a, that's a different type of effect it's similar it's just different scale and uh, a bit different tweak there so yeah that's uh, how you create your own smart masks and store them here in the custom shelf so yeah uh, thanks for hanging out with me today and consider subscribing if you don't want to miss when I go uh, live or do one of these tutorials. So yeah, uh, see you on the channel. Bye bye.